Welcome back. Recently, a CDC study revealed that women are becoming pregnant later in life in their 30s rather than in their 20s due to wanting higher education, entering the workforce, and growing in career, financially, all kinds of reasons like that. And some women want to wait until even later than that. Joining us now, a woman who knows this very well, Julie Connolly, and executive director of the Adoption Consultancy, Nicole Witt. Nice to have you back, Nicole. Thanks for having me. And Julie, Hi. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell us your story and why it was important to adopt uh, later in life for you. Well, for me personally, I went through a breakup, a long-term relationship. Um, so I was 30. Um, so I met my husband when I was 35. We didn't get married till I was till we were, I was 38. He was 34, mm -hmm. and that's just the kind of the way it went. And um, I knew I had some fertility issues to address, mm -hmm. and um, so we made our decisions. And adoption was the right choice for us. And you are now the proud parents <laughs> of a six and a half year old named Chloe and a two year old named Madeline. Okay. And how has life as a mom been in your 40s at this point? Oh, it's great. I think they keep me young. Um, I love it. Uh, I think I have more patience. Um, I'm financially more financially stable than I was when I was younger. Um, and they just keep me young. They keep me on my toes. <laughs> Nicole, all good reasons. Yes, absolutely. Right? Yeah. So even though this was kind of just how it happened for Julie here, a lot of women are making a very distinct decision to yes. wait until they are later to either have their own kids or to adopt. Right. So is is Julie a typical example of, of the reasons why? Yes, and, and yeah, I think the adoption trends are mirroring the trends in, in the regular um, world, you know, that women are focusing on education and marriage later. They start trying to build a family later. If they do have infertility issues, you know, if they've been focusing on their careers, often they have the financial resources to spend some time pursuing medical treatments. So when they get to the point of adoption, you know, it's just naturally happening later these days as well. Are you finding that you're getting a lot of uh, a lot of people coming to you who are older who want to adopt yes when I started this work over a decade ago it was pretty unusual to have clients that were mid 40s even a little bit later and now it's pretty unusual to have clients that are you know in their early 30s or so it's it's much more common for people to be in their 40s interesting when do you decide it's the right time or is there like in your case Julie really no decision it's just how it happens yeah it's the path you take yeah. um, when it's right for you and your family. Yeah. Do you ever worry about being an older parent as oh, your kids yes. age? Uh, <laughs> yes. You know, I want to be around when they're, you know, 30 years old. Um, I have to try to stay healthier. Um, but other than that, um, it's great. Again, motivation to oh, take mo care of yourself. Oh, very much so, yes, right? yes. Well, like you said, I think it sums it up. They keep you young. They do. And, and that's a wonderful it's thing. It's a blessing. Yeah, there you go. Have you ever had anybody in their early 60s come to you and want to adopt? I actually had a couple. I had a, The husband was in his 70s, but the wife was in her 30s. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I may be calling you, Nicole. <laughs> Great. Congratulations Thank you so on much. your two little Thank ones. You. And Nicole, always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. All right. And we'll be right back with more daytime right after this.